K-pop is a genre of music and culture that is tremendously successful worldwide. The K-pop group BTS is one of the most famous bands ever, with millions of passionate fans known as the ARMY. Along with the band, the ARMY seeks to defend and preserve the ideals and values of today's youth. Despite their decision to step away from the stage for a bit to serve their country, South Korea, their beloved fans will keep waiting. So get ready to learn with this marvelous group. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to join our global community right now by hitting that subscribe button and bell down below so you never miss out on any of our new lessons. So one of the most amazing facts about BTS is that they are non-native English speakers and learners just like you. Let's check out their English now in this inspiring speech they made at the United Nations. In an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. But I had one century and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up man and listen to yourself. But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. And sometimes I just wanted to quit. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. So let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I want to hear your voice. I want to, want to hear your conviction. No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. In an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. So here the word intro means introduction or the first part of something such as a book, a song or a play. For example, the song has a beautiful guitar intro. However, you might have seen the prefix intro at the beginning of words such as introspection or introvert. In this case, the prefix intro means on the inside or inward. So introspection means to reflect and look inward to examine your own thoughts and feelings. For example, through introspection, we can gain knowledge about ourselves. So an introvert is someone who tends to turn inward, meaning they focus more on internal thoughts, feelings, and moods. For example, everyone thought he was an introvert because he didn't talk much. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars, I stopped daydreaming. So we say that someone daydreams when they think about pleasant things that they would like to do or have happen to them, instead of thinking about what is happening right now. For example, he sometimes daydreams about becoming a billionaire. Check out this example from the song Daydream. I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. 
The word jam has several meanings. You might be familiar with the noun jam, which is a sweet, soft food made by cooking fruit with sugar to preserve it. It is often eaten on bread or in desserts. However, in this context, the verb jam means to fit into a small or tight space, especially with force or difficulty. But over the past few weeks... Okay! I... Ah, sorry about the wait, but it is mega jammed in here. So we also use the word jam in the expression to be in a jam. By the way, what does it mean to be in a jam? To be in a difficult situation? To be in a hurry, to be sweet. I just tried to jam myself into the molds that other people made. We can also use the word mold to mean different things. In this context, it means to shape something or someone in a particular way. In other words, RM is saying that people tried to change him to become the person they wanted him to be. For Kim's recent drama, Backstreet Rookie, she attended acting school to perform her own stunts to mold into the character Chung Sik Byo. So mold can also mean a soft green, gray or black growth that develops on old food or on objects that have been left too long in warm, slightly wet places. No one called out my name. And neither did I. Here, call out is a phrasal verb which means to shout or say something loudly. Here's a nice example from friends. Man, you need to go to the airport and tell her. You're probably gonna catch her just as she's about to go to the gate. You're gonna call out her name and yell, I love you. So I think it's safe to say that RM's English is amazing. But do you know how they learn to speak such impeccable English? Let's check out this interview from the 2002 Grammy Awards to find out. Did you really learn how to speak English from watching Friends? Yes, Friends is my English parents. That so so what, what, are you like more of a Joey? Who do you think you are? No, I'm like a, I'm a, I'm like a Chandler. Okay. Here at Learn English with TV series, Friends really is our favorite series to learn English. It even inspired us to create our Fluent with Friends course, which you can use to help you speak English as effortlessly as RM does. Well, with our Fluent with Friends course, you can have fun and greatly improve your understanding of fast speaking natives. Learn the vocabulary you actually need to communicate confidently and master grammar in context. You can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass. Simply sign up by clicking up here or down in the description below. But I had one century and that was music. Notice the pronunciation here. The T at the end of but is pronounced with the D or flap T sound. So we hear, but I had, but I had. But I had one century and that was music. So the religious meaning of sanctuary is a holy or sacred place of worship, such as a temple or church. However, we also refer to something as a sanctuary when it is a safe place where someone or something finds protection. So when RM talks about music being a sanctuary, he means that music was the one part of his life where he felt protected, where he could really be himself. Here's an example from a popular song by Japanese singer Joji. The there was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up man and listen to yourself. So we use the expression wake up when someone becomes aware or to make someone aware of something. Here's another nice example from friends. I found the perfect ring. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty nice, but I'm gonna go with the one I picked first. Oh, wake up, Chandler. The one you picked is gone. It's over. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Which of these pictures shows hurdles? The answer is B. So here we see athletes jumping over hurdles in the sport. 
However, in this context, RM uses the word hurdles in a figurative sense. Here it means a problem that you have to deal with before you can make progress. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. RM uses connected speech here. Notice that the T at the end of might and not is pronounced with a stop T sound. Might. Not. Together, this sounds like some people might not believe. Some people might not believe. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. So, let's take all one more step. So we use the expression to take a step to mean that you perform a particular action. So to take one more step means to perform an action again or to try one more time. For example, after she got the job, she felt that she was one step closer to achieving her goals. So now I urge you to speak yourself. As a noun, an urge is a strong wish, especially one that is difficult or impossible to control. However, in this context, to urge someone means to strongly advise or try to persuade them to do a particular thing. Here's another nice example. Wonderful job on Russia, Brock. You haven't seen anything. Again, I urge you to consider being our Tony in West Side Story. I want to hear your voice. I want to, want to hear your conviction. We use the word conviction to mean a strong belief or opinion. RM is encouraging fans to feel bold enough to share their opinions and beliefs without fear of what others might say or think. For example, it's his conviction that everyone should recycle. No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. In this case, when RM says, speak yourself, he is encouraging fans to be who they truly are, to love and accept themselves completely so that they can live as their most authentic, true selves. Love Yourself, Speak Yourself was also the name of their recent world tour. In an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Which of these is similar to daydream? Happiness, nightmare, fantasy. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. When you call out, you whisper, shout or say something loudly, laugh. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. But I had one century and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up, man, and listen to yourself. But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. And sometimes I just wanted to quit. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. So, let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I wanna hear your voice. I wanna to, want to hear your conviction. In this context, conviction has a negative meaning. No matter who you are, where are you from? 
your skin color, your gender identity. Just speak yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and that you learned something new. If you would like to continue learning English with BTS, then be sure to check out this lesson next. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is RM. I'm the leader of this crew and kind of like a spokesperson. All right, so we have an interpreter just in case I need one, but you actually, RM, you speak English, right? Yes. So pretty well. You taught yourself English? Yes, I, I taught myself English. How did, how did you teach yourself English? Um, actually, my English teacher was a sitcom, Friends. Oh, you yes, watched Friends? Yes.